welcome 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 if you are new here don't forget to press that subscribe button we're on our way to 500 subscribers so if you're watching this video please do not forget to press that subscribe button please hit the bell so you're notified every single time that i post a new video so for those who can see by the title we will be talking about this beautiful wig that i was sent by dyx tifa wig i don't want to butcher the name so i'm definitely going to leave it on the screen we're gonna talk about how this wig is a t part wig okay let's just look at it let's just look at it and una tell me now so una no say me and the hair thing when it comes down to wigs i'm not the best at installs i'm not gonna lie because i'm not a hairdresser is it me um my thing is more makeup even though you know we learn every day but when i got this wig i was like oh my god should i pay someone to install this wig for me or should i just try to install it myself so you know the diy girl that i am i decided you know what let's save some coins we're going to do this install ourselves, and we're going to love it because i have a thing where like when i start to install a wig by myself like if it now come out like scalp right away it's like i just get big and do one but i do the ear that's just me and wigs so anytime i'm installing a wig it's most likely i went to a hairdresser it's never gonna be me the only wig that i will install on my own is my naturally laced wig i've installed that on my own um when i was on my trip in mexico and that's because naturally lace literally makes the wigs to literally fit your head snug um and all you have to do is literally lay the wig so it was quite easy for me to do you know the wig was already bleached plucked everything baby hairs was set everything was in place so as i said all i needed to do was put the wig on my head use a got to be spray and spray it and even then when all of that was still done you know i had to be reaching out to people i know who like are wig gurus and i was like hey you know um i have a natural lace wig but i don't know if i put it on even my hair just saw who normally installs my wig she was like you know when it really comes down to you having to do this on your own like it's a have to you're gonna learn like you're gonna be patient enough to learn so that's what happened in mexico i never have nobody put on the wig for me so i had to learn you get me so as as you know men are one hard learner it's not tough yeah so eventually it became a little bit more easier so this week today was sent to me as i told you guys by dyx t4 dyx t4 wig i'm going to definitely leave the name on the screen um it was purchased through amazon so it was sent on prime so it got to me within two days nothing too extravagant nothing too the wait time was not long so this wig i'm going to definitely insert a video of me opening the packaging so this wig is 16 inches as you guys can see it is very 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 true to length um so it's 16 inches um it's a t part wig if you haven't read the title already it is a t part wig which means that the parting space is very you know it's minimal so the only way you can wait um wear it is in a middle part a center part uno no me uno no me like uno no me I know I'm not a center part girl. I just got into, you know, the center part vibes and kind of just starting to like it a bit, you know, stuff like that. So that's the disclaimer. Me is not a center part girl. But when I tell you that this wig, it's so soft. Let's begin with that. The wig is so soft. The hair is so, so soft. Like you wouldn't even understand it's so soft um yeah um it was easy to curl um it came to me straightened um so all i did was use my wand and curl it up so it was easy it was very easy to curl and it holds curl really nicely 
you know i kind of shred it down the front you know to give that like effect where you know, I have a little something coming on my face because as I tell you know, me is not a center part girl, but I kind of like this look. So it's kind of giving like a honey blondish, but it has like highlights at the same time. I don't really know how to describe it, but I'll definitely leave the link to this wig in the description box below. On the door, meds, my lashes, please, please, please. May I be good now? Yeah, I'm in the process of removing them. So if you still have a one and two lash, that's the reason but as i was saying like it came with a pair of lashes um i'll definitely insert the video as i said it came with a pair of lashes it came with some cute little makeup brushes um and it came with a wig cap the wig cap is which i have on my head right now and all i did was catch up my hair at the back sleek my hair well not really sleek sleek but i used the like edge control brushing my hair front um, and I put on the wig cap. I didn't do a ball cap method because as I say, as I disclaimed before, I am not a wig guru. And every time I try to do, you know, the ball cap method, it's just a bit gluey for me. Um, it's just a lot to work with. So today I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to do a ball cap method. All I'm going to do is catch up my hair because I don't plan to wear this wig for long. Catch up my hair, put on the wig cap and install the wig so let's get into the details of how i actually did this wig so i plucked the wig even though i said it was a t-part wig i plucked the front of the wig just because you know i wanted it to have more of a seamless look more of a natural look you know even though i didn't plan to add baby hairs i wanted it to look as natural as possible so i plucked the front just a little bit and i plucked the scalp or the middle part so i plucked it plucked it plucked it to feel comfortable i use my wax stick that i have i put it on the hair and i use my hot comb and my flatten it because who don't want them to look flat so that's what i did in terms of you know um, putting on the wig um, prepping the wig and all of that that's all I did then my go so boom drop the wig palm head when I drop the wig on my head as I tell you know I have a phobia I'd call it a phobia because it must have said the wig now go oh me want it for go my kind of get thrown off I don't know if I'm the only one but like when wig flat and lay down and look nice and if it's not going that way sometimes it really throws me off and then we we'll just say you know what I'm not going to bother do it I'm going to just take it off go to a hairdresser you know but we decided to see it through we got to see it through my boy and here we are so yeah I definitely laid the wig with just some got to be spray that's literally all I use I sprayed it down and I tied it with an elastic I blow dried it on cool setting you know just so that it can set and it dry and everything then me use a scissors cut it and cut the excess lace off and I was left with this this beauty this beauty so this is what i was left with and i think it's really really cute um don't forget to go and check them out if you plan to purchase this wig please don't forget the link will be in the description box below thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i hope you like this hair just as much as i do because it's giving texas it's giving houston texas baby <laughs> and i think it's pretty cute so the next time I wear this, I probably do, you know, cut it into like a bob and get it professionally installed. But as far as the wig goes, it's really, really cute. It's not giving, like it's giving out of scalp, period. I'm an auburn boo. What do you call it? The girl in what I've brown is here, auburn. I'm auburn and I'm blonde. In that song? period Poo. so thank you guys so 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 much for watching i hope you love this video please please don't forget to leave a like share with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you guys in the next one bye
Put em, put em, put em.